And we are here to say to all those serving in the Army, in the Marines, in the Air Force, in the Navy, that you have the absolute right to refuse to take part in these criminal wars. And that's a right that all of you should exercise. You have no reason to go put your life on the line and kill and die for profit. We've been to Iraq. We've been to Afghanistan. And we know what these wars are really about. And we joined the military for many reasons. Because we need a college education. Because we need a job. Because we need health care. And then we joined the military. And they tell us that our enemies are poor people in caves in Afghanistan. Or poor people in the deserts of Iraq. But we've been to those countries. And we know that our enemies are not other poor people abroad. Our enemies are the people that laid us off from our jobs. That denied us health care. That make it impossible to get an education. Our enemies are not in the poorest countries on the planet. But right here in the richest one. A lot of people ask me, what do we do? Well, I'll tell you what we do, it's simple. We fight. We fight and we fight and we fight and we shut down our workplaces, we shut down our schools, we shut down the streets, we shut down business as usual, and we fight until we force the people in there to do what the people out here want. Because that's how we're going to get around and we're going to fight until there's not one more bomb drop, not one more bullet fired, not one more co a soldier coming home in a wheelchair, not one more family slaughtered, not one more day. Let's fight to make that happen. We can do it today, and in the days ahead, we have to fight to end these wars and create a better world, Mr. Brother. So join us in that fight. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah.